What's up guys? So I wanted to make a quick video about organization and what I've experienced so far with organization. So for whatever reason, it seems that we have a bunch of stuff often. I've witnessed this. I've experienced it personally. I've experienced it all around. We have a lot of stuff that we don't use we have a lot of stuff that has just been in our houses for months, maybe even years sometimes, that is just there, whether it's in our kitchen, in our bedroom, in our living room, doesn't matter. The point is that organization has been something that I have realized is very important if you wanna have a very productive day, if you wanna have a clear mind when you wake up because if there's a bunch of stuff all over the place, sometimes it's called clutter, I've heard it called clutter. Um, but if there's a bunch of stuff all over the place, it makes it hard to think, even if we don't notice it at times, I believe from my experience. And I'm not sure if it's that sometimes like stuff makes us feel better. For example, you know, I have my work shoes, and my exercise shoes, you know, and that's it. Or I'll have, you know, a pair of casual shoes, a pair of exercise shoes, or two pairs of exercise shoes, and a pair of work shoes, instead of having like seven pairs, for example. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna get into the details. If you like collecting shoes and this and that, that's different. But just without getting into the, you know, possibilities of like other situations that's different but in general it seems that a lot of times we feel like we don't have enough time to do things or that we're too tired and a lot of times we are very tired because adult lives are very busy whether it's because of your kids a full-time job uh, activities, hobbies, whatever it may be, responsibilities, but we, we, uh, we get tired. So that is even more reason to be very organized or to pay importance to being organized. And a part of being organized, I'm understanding from experience is to get rid of things that you don't use on a regular basis whether it's in your kitchen, whether it's in your bedroom, or any place in your house. I've seen it in houses, I've seen it in cars, in people's cars. I've, I've wanted to share about being a young parent. Well, being a young parent, um, often I, I lived in different places with my children for many years and the mother of my children and one thing I experienced as a young parent was often a big mess consistently in our house. And we didn't like to live with a big mess around, but the mess consisted of basically things like toys, uh, clothes, a lot of clothes like shoes, socks, pants, and everything else, shirts, whatever, sweaters, and so on and so forth toys, uh, DVDs or movies, um, and trash, unfortunately, but it's true. A lot of trash, like old trash, even dirty dishes, makeup, all, you know, baby wipes, diapers, just the point is that it was a mess. There was no organization. These kinds of things were expected to be in a family home but they were scattered and they were messy. Like I literally remember not just in my own home, but I've walked into other young parents' homes and you have to literally step over a bunch of stuff while walking through the living room or while walking through the bedroom. There's just trash, toys, clothes, blankets, mail, papers, schoolwork, all kinds of stuff, crayons, all kinds of stuff everywhere there's no organization it's just a mess anyways my point is that organization seems to be very important if you want to be productive if you want to wake up clear-minded and if you have a busy schedule so 
the the days, the months, the weeks that I've been the most productive, where I can fit in studying, reading, um, exercise, stretching, meditating, and then having the full time job, and then um, you know also other things like chores and so on and so forth. My most productive days and months have been because I learned to organize myself. I learned what I used every day and what I didn't, I got rid of. And what I used every day, I organized it. So when I woke up, I had a routine and I did it the same thing over and over again. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to share a little bit about organization. I believe it's very important. A lot of times we think we don't have time. A lot of times we we feel we're too tired, which a lot of times we are, fair to say, very tired, even exhausted, which is, in my opinion, like I said, uh, even more reason why we should be organized because when you're tired, if everything's organized, you can still at least go through the motions. But if everything is a mess and you're tired, there's not really any organized motions to go through because there's nothing in specific places. There's nothing. There's no routine. There's, you know, there's things everywhere. So if you have organization, even if you're tired, you can at least go through the motions because everything is in its place. Everything has a place and everything has a use. Everything has a purpose, everything around you, whether, like I said, whether it's in your bedroom, in your kitchen, if you're going to cook, you know, it takes some time and effort to cook for your family and then to clean the dishes. Or if you're going to wake up and get your kids ready for school, or if you need to get ready for work and you need to clean the house, you need to have all your tools handy and nothing more, only what you use. And that way you can get up and get going quick. But if you have a mess, if there's clutter, if there's things all over the place, then it's a lot harder to go through those motions, especially if you wake up tired because you have a busy schedule because life, you know, sometimes gets us tired. So it's just that much more reason to get organized, in my opinion. So, you know, whoever may help, this is my experience and I, I care to share about it. You know, I encourage it. I'm working on it myself and I share that and hopefully that encourages other people to make improvements and also work on um, beneficial changes in their own lives and uh, it takes time and it takes patience. But anyways, guys, hope you're all having a good night and uh, let's keep it moving. Peace out.